Mark, I think most people probably understand that fasting in one form or another puts some sort of stress on the body, just as it did our ancestors when they presumably had to fast for longer periods of time. Is it possible that fasting can have some sort of negative consequence on our health in terms of these actual stressors? For example, can it negatively impact our endocrine system? Yeah, that's a great question. So the, the stress of not eating is actually something often that's a good stress. We call it a use stress or maybe a hermetic stress, which means it stresses the body to recover and respond because it has to deal with that insult. And that is actually a good thing that can help us increase our metabolism, help improve our, our overall health, and maybe even extend lifespan. The problem is if you do extended fast in the wrong person, someone who's very thin or who's malnourished or who is pregnant or maybe a little kid or somebody who's very old and frail, that may not be the best thing for them. So that, that can put the body in, in an, an extra set of stresses that is actually counteracting some of the benefits of, uh, of fasting or, or not eating. Uh, I think that, that the adrenal issue is very common in this country and around the world, which is chronic stress causes a low level uh, adrenal exhaustion. And, and when you add another stress to that, it, it is often challenging for patients. So I, I do see there are patients who are quite stressed or who have um, various kind of physical ailments and that may not be appropriate for fasting. So I, I think it's important to pay attention to the fact that your hormones and your overall um, health can be disrupted by fasting if, if you don't have the right person doing it, if you're, if you're having a patient doing it who's, who's had compromise or challenged by other chronic stress or, or various kinds of illnesses. Mark, just to follow up to that question, is there something that a person could look for to give them a clue that maybe um, the stress of the fast is actually beyond that hormetic value point and it may be counterproductive? I mean, shy of the obvious things like seeing a doctor and having the workup that could demonstrate those biochemical abnormalities, is there a feeling or anything that a patient might look for and say, you know, maybe I ought to take a break for a while from this? Yeah, I mean, we, we often can look at uh, someone's history of, of stress and look at the effects on their adrenals. So if they have palpitations, if they're anxious, if they have insomnia, if they're often uh, feeling tired but wired, we, we can infer that they may have uh, low-level chronic stress or even more severe chronic stress that may, uh, you know, make it inadvisable for them to do any prolonged fasting. So I, I pay attention carefully to patients' overall state of health and, and stress level, and also just their general uh, age and their body type and their, their medical history. Because if someone's thin or compromised in any way, is elderly or is pregnant or is a little kid, maybe, maybe it's, uh, it's too much of a stress for some of these patients.